here will be out of the campus for the first time for the yes. player. So this is the first time the player will be able to use uh, his power when he wants. He, he can do before, but there is no so many uh, interaction and puzzles. Here there is a, we really wanted to have a, a lot of different things to do, talk with people, use the power just to, to see fun stuff. But we we use this this kind of environment for, for for the players who like to take their time and just to talk to characters to to look around it it really gives a sense of, of presence to max to the world the important aspect of the game is to really to give some rewards to the player who want to do that and who want to take his time so with this kind of sequences for example we we give what we call a reward, but in fact it's just new element uh, of the game. For example, here you will have new layer of music. You can hear some new layer of music. You will have all those camera shots that you can't have inside uh, the cl yeah, classic walkthrough and classic game gameplay in third person. So this kind of uh, um, beautiful shots you you have only because you have chosen to take your time and to sit on the fountain. So the music, the shots, and of course the voiceover of Max also at the beginning. We hear what Max is thinking uh, just here. So this kind of rewards will push, uh, we think, the player to, to do that again and again. So this is really something we wanted to have. In this game, it's always feeling a bit like what what Max is is feeling, and um, it was re we really wanted to focus on on those uh, those moments. It was really capturing capturing the moment when you when you can really take your time to reflect on yourself, and that's what Max is doing in 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 those scenes. That's something that not a lot of games are doing to let the player take his time because in in a lot of games it's just like you need to go forward, you need to go to this checkpoint, you need to do this and this. Since the beginning, we wanted the rewind to be uh, a tool that the player can use when he wants, where he wants. It, it, it won't be a scripted uh, rewind sequence, for example. On a technical point of view, you have to record all the different things that happen in the scene. Since you can rewind time, you can basically be at any part of the scene at any moment you like. Uh, designing puzzles with the rewind was very, very hard. When you think it's done, you think you've seen everything about it, you think the situation is in place and it's going to be working well, there's always this tiny little thing that's fucking it up. Those elements are not really deterministic, so when you rewind, you're not sure that you will be able to restore the, uh, the, um, the particle system in the same state. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. And this is the dormitories. This is also something that was interesting for us is to talk about dorm life. We wanted to use this setting because we can really talk about social issues like the girls have their room. Do you really like the people who, who live next to you? How the relationships are working in, inside, the, inside the dormitories? Like right now, it's interesting if you have different music that can come from the different rooms. Um, it's a really interesting setting to, to set up a lot of characters easily. Here, the idea is really to again have this uh, believable universe of the students we have to to focus on um, what we want to tell and what we want to develop in each episode alisa is getting hit or in danger by something and you can or you can or you, you you can decide or not to use the rewind power to warn her and to actually to get her out of trouble and again i think it's it's links to also the kate story and this kind of stuff is it's not just here to have fun, it's also to talk about those difficulties you can have when you, uh, you could be so, someone like Alisa and uh, having uh, these kind of problems. And it's always a way to find the, the little details and little elements that will um, bring more to the characters, how we are defining them, without sometimes telling, telling too much. So it, this is the same actress as uh, Chloe. Yeah, the two so main actresses who are playing Max and Chloe did, uh, uh, did also uh, the other uh, students. And so you can, there is some of Chloe inside each one of them. <laughs> you can see Max and Chloe here. Uh, the body animation uh, is done in motion capture uh, on this project. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, shooting uh, in motion capture with, uh, with uh, French companies. Uh, the two main, uh, so Max and Chloe, like for the voice actor, yeah. in fact, they are always played by the same actress, uh, Serena and uh, Gabrielle. Uh, so all the body language and the body animation you will see in the, in the game uh, are, are done by them. Uh, and so in each scene, we, we work the, 
we discuss about the scene with them and they add some mm. both of them they have given something to the character even for Max because Serena was a bit shy at the beginning of the project and at the end of the project she was she, she was different and we can see the evolution of Max inside uh, her acting so who did you tell the principal but he didn't seem to believe me the principal are you still 12 that drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. This is the first time we, we will really see the Max universe yeah. uh, by discovering uh, a room. So let's go yeah. inside. It was a really important scene for us because you're playing as Max in the game. So you, are, you already start to know some about her with what happened before in episode one. But when you enter her room, it's really her universe. It's everything in this room should describe her who she is, why she is like this, and speak a bit more about her past. There is quite a lot in yeah, this room, in fact, compared yeah. to the... Because we, we tried, I think, uh, episode after episode also to focus on different things, and you, we can't put too many objects yeah. in, a, in, a, in a room. Uh, if you want to play a character for five episodes, you need to invest in this character, and all those kind of, of details and were really important to to make a connection between the player and, and Max, to learn a bit more about uh, what she experienced before and maybe also why she is how she is right now. Something we really wanted to have with, with Max from is also to have a great contrast between, between Max and, and Chloe. So it, it was really important to, to have those two characters. Max and Chloe are really different. They are quite, quite opposite at the beginning of the story. So we wanted that her, her personality and also her universe, her, her rooms, reflect that. Uh, and we and we took for Max this a sort of soft softer colors. We have the pink in. Uh, I think our, our, our bed cover is really really soft. You have the the small cushions with the flowers, the teddy bear. We've got a lot of different environments in the game, but uh, we wanted really to to be able to revisit the environments and to have uh, other scenes taking place in the same environments, but telling different stories and. Uh, telling different sequences. So, uh, for example, in this room, uh, when you you go back uh, here in the house in the alternate reality, we will find a, an empty uh, room of uh, an empty Chloe room, and uh, you have been here so many times before mm. the episode four with Chloe, having fun with Chloe, uh, listening to music, yeah. um, going back here. Uh, without anything, you, you you will directly see what you've lost and what this another reality uh, means for Chloe and for you. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. We've done the same with uh, the swimming pool, for example. We've got yeah. a great scene in the swimming pool of... Uh, between Max and Chloe when they are alone uh, during the night and after you got this huge vortex party uh, which it's is really a really contract. different uh, uh, atmosphere so this is kind of on the production point of view it's basically a brand new environment but it's still in the same place uh, and, and with a lot of similarities so it's really Im important to show it was important for us to show the changes that Max can create with, with our power and the changes to, to the characters and to the world. 